everybody and today I am doing my April favourites. Now I am actually filming this quite early on because I've had a bit of a problem with uploading at the minute. So these things have actually been collecting for quite a while and I'm really excited to share them with you and hopefully give you some inspiration of things you could buy in the future. <laughs> I'm going to start off with makeup and the first one is actually on my lips right now and this is the MAC Retro Matte Liquid Lip Colour in Burnt Spice. I love this, it's so nude. I absolutely love the packaging of these, they are so brilliant. Um, it's just great this, as soon as I bought it, I wasn't actually shot, I hadn't seen it in person, I ordered it online. So I didn't know about the colour and it's nuder than I thought Burnt Spice would be. I thought it would be more of an orange toned. But it looks very nude in the packaging. And then once it's applied it does go down to a bit of a um, more of a brownie nude. Which I really like and it doesn't take long to, to settle into the lips if that makes sense. To, to dry out. No not to dry because they're not that drying actually they're really good. It does need maybe about two, maybe three layers and it literally stays on for about four hours which they always claim to be more but four hours I think is brilliant for when you're out and about and eating and drinking and whatever else you do. So this is brilliant and I'm definitely looking forward to getting more from the collection. The so next in beauty is something that is talked about a lot here on YouTube and it is the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream. Basically, this is like a, um, they don't really say, a tinted moisturiser, but it's not, it's a foundation, but it's not, <laughs> it's a uh, low coverage foundation, I would say, anyway. This is talked about hugely by Susie from Hello October and Alex from I Cover The, she loves this, and I basically went to a shop and I, there was nobody there to help me so I literally picked out a colour and it randomly was the right shade for me and I am in Birch 1.5 so this is actually <laughs> really really expensive it was ridiculously expensive actually but this I cannot wait to use in summer I struggle with summer foundation so much because I hate having something heavy on the skin this is brilliant, this is a, like I said, it's a light coverage, can be built up to medium with more than one layer. And this is not drying off my dry skin, so this is really brilliant for me. And yeah, I love this. But for my one skincare, it is, this has been out for a while actually I think, and it is the Garnier Super Active Moisture Balm Tissue Mask. These. Are fabulous. These are the only drugstore tissue masks that came out after all the higher end brands did. And this is brilliant. The only thing with this is there's loads of moisture. I hate that word. There's loads of moisture left afterwards. So um, yeah, you've really got to smooth it into the skin. And it's brilliant. This is just great for hydrating my skin. Um, it's just a nice pamper thing to have in your pamper routine, I think. It's brilliant. I've not tried any more, so I can't really put it up against doing calcium and say which one's better. But so far, for I think this is like £1.50. And you can often get this, whilst it's half price, it's like 75p for one. It's brilliant. Um, so yeah, and I quite like the packaging as well for it. Very cool. And tissue masks look very very, <laughs> what's the word, uh, not scary, but they just look a bit fascinating don't they, I think we're all fascinated by sheet masks. Now next is a techie item, I don't usually have techie items but I actually found this in, I don't even know where it was but it was dead cheap and it is a phone stylus, so. <laughs> A lot of my Instagram, I love Instagram stories, absolutely love it. And basically I got really, I got a lot of inspiration from other YouTubers, bloggers, vloggers and Instagrammers who draw and write over their pictures in um, calligraphy. Love calligraphy. Let's 
find a photo for an example. Okay, so let's talk about this photo. This photo. So I absolutely love this photo. Um, it was just something to share where I was on, was it Mother's Day I went here? I think so. And usually, I just use, the end of this pen has a, whatever this is, it's like a spongy thing. <laughs> and it's just great for writing and being very precise of where you're writing. So I did used to just use my fingers and this is just so much easier. I hand it around with me and it's just great for just tapping away and doing whatever you want with this. Um, I actually didn't realise until maybe about a week after I bought it that the other side is actually a normal pen. So this is brilliant to have in your bag because it's just a double and you always need a pen. So I've got one fashion favourite this month and it is a top that I bought on ASOS and yes it is actually ASOS brand. Oh, it's still got the tag in it. <laughs> I haven't even worn it yet. I um, I bought this last, well, I ordered it last week to wear for an engagement party this weekend. And it is, it's, oh my gosh, like, can you see? Blue. I literally live in a black, white, grey, blue. But, oh, and khaki sometimes, maybe. So, when I um, found this and I loved it, even when I tried it on, my boyfriend was so surprised that I had something bright. It's something very red. Oh, very red. This is absolutely gorgeous. This top is a blouse material and this will be brilliant to pair with black jeans and some um, heeled boots, I think. But this is just got a tiny at the bottom, right at the bottom, it's a little bit peplum, which I really like and I like the sleeves and it's just, it's so basic, I mean how much even was this, I would not say. But I, like I said, I bought this last week so hopefully it'll still be in stock. Actually, the red one isn't in stock but the black one is. I've seen the black one because I've got my eye on it. So this is just a high, like it's a bit high anyway and it's just, oh. I can't wait to wear this. It is going to be very different for me and yeah, I'm going to love it, especially now it's coming into spring, summertime and nicer weather. Now I've got a few films to talk about because during March and April I've been, or so far in April, I've been to cinema loads. So I went to see, uh, the first one I went to see in March was Logan. Now. I actually wasn't going to talk about Logan because it's not really a favourite because I think I might be the only person who actually really did not like Logan. I love I love Wolverine, I love the X-Men, I love um, I love DC and I love Marvel and Avengers. I love all that kind of stuff which is weird for me because I also love princesses but <laughs> um, this just wasn't the same for me. I knew it wasn't going to be because the trailer and the reviews and people said it really isn't normal, <laughs> like the normal kind of thing that you'd get from X-Men. And it really wasn't. It really wasn't my thing. It was a bit more gruesome than I would have liked um, without giving anything away. It's just... I was a bit appalled by the ending. I really didn't like the ending at all. I thought that they could have done way better for Logan. I mean, this was this is Wolverine's last film, his last ever film, and I think I could have done a better job. And then we went to see Beauty and the Beast. Now this is going to be definitely one of the biggest releases of this whole year, 2017. And I, I loved it. We went to see it on the first weekend it was released. I went with Anthony and um, Oh, it was it was even better than the animated version, which is a huge thing to say. And it had me in tears at the end. I mean, it's been out a while now, so hopefully you don't mind spoilers. But it was just absolutely fantastic. The singing, the choreography, and the oh my god, the clothes, the environment, the um, cast, all the props, everything was brilliant. It was a fabidabby film <laughs> and it's one that I would definitely watch over and over and over and over and over. 
and as you know they're all doing the um, real life Disney films at the minute and this one's by far my favourite so and then on Mother's Day we went to see the new Smurfs which is a bit of a weird thing to go see on Mother's Day when you know I'm 20 my mum is of an age and my big sister is 23 so Smurfs isn't really for us well it actually was it was brilliant I'm not going to say it wasn't for us because it was absolutely fantastic there was children everywhere in the cinema there which ruined it a lot <laughs> we went to see it on the weekend um, before it was actually released for a premiere and it was just it's a great little film if you've got kids definitely go see it or if you're of my age and you like Disney and animated films go see it it's brilliant and that is it that is it for my April favourites I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next week for my next video